is called risk tolerance. And basically what that means is you're looking for you're looking for investments that you can go to bed at night and not lay in bed stressing and flipping and flopping and counting the ceiling tiles because you're so stressed out about what's happening with your investments. You're looking for things that you feel comfortable putting your money to work for you over time that are going to be safe and secure and that allow you to get you where you want to go. So that's one idea. If you're investing in things that are driving you crazy, then you need to maybe rethink your investment strategy. The next thing you want to think about is diversification. Basically, what it means is thinking about buying different investments that are not related to each other. In other words, if you have all of your money in bank stocks and 2007 and 2009 comes along, you're going to be hurting the unit for a while because you've put all of your wealth into one big bucket and everything turns south, which means you're going to lose money and it's going to cause you to your returns to suffer for a long period of time. Because once those things turn south in a major way to return back to the positive side of the equation is going to take a long term, long time. So diversification is an idea of having different investments in different baskets. A simple way to think about this is instead of having all of your money in one sector, think about having it in different kinds of sectors. So investing in something like tech stocks, like an Apple or Amazon, Microsoft, something along these lines. Then maybe having something in real estate, maybe having something in consumer goods like a Walmart or a grocery store, or maybe having banks or just having investments in different unrelated, not correlated investments. Because when the market turns, not necessarily everything goes south all at once. Sometimes different sectors are going to get beaten up more than others. And by having diversification, it helps lessen some of that risk of having you lose all of your money or having negative returns over a longer period of time. You also have the fact that these businesses all have risk within themselves too. So even even businesses that used to look great, you know, you could think of the blockbusters of the world. I mean, I nostalgically remember going to Blockbuster and it being like the time, the time to be alive on a Friday night to go to Blockbuster, and they end up going bankrupt. Uh, Washington Mutual, you know, they had such a bright, what people thought were a bright management with huge goals, and turned out that they were a little bit too aggressive with their growth, to say the least. They go bankrupt too. So you want to have you have to understand that, yeah, we want to be invested in businesses and we want to be owners in the in them so we can have part of their profits. That's what investing in stocks is. But with that comes the risk that our company could fail. And that's just the reality of capitalism. And so we want to make sure that we have enough equity ownerships and enough different businesses where if one goes bankrupt, it doesn't completely wipe us out and make our returns a lot worse. Um, than they should be. 